time ago, in the 1990s, um, I discovered open source as a student. And it completely transformed my sort of sense of what software was all about or could be all about. It was instrumental in helping me um, kind of work at the cutting edge of technology. I was looking for something that I could do that could make an impact all over the world rather than just, you know, where I lived um, and which would be very commercially challenging. I, I like a hard problem um, and, and I could take some risks. Um, and slowly the idea kind of crystallized that um, uh, it would be interesting to try to build um, a Linux distribution that really was trying to see past the, the old way of thinking about money and software, right? It was that that was kind of the inspiration of trying to get the original team together to see what we could do. Getting so many good people right next to me trying to achieve the same goals. The most inspiring thing about working at Canonical has been the, the amazing number of just talented, brilliant, wise people. You know, the engineers and the Ubuntu community members, they're, they're such talented people, but they're also, again, really caring. So I think I was just mostly excited about the people that I got the chance to work with. You know, there was, um, it, it was pretty amazing to be, to be able to meet people who were working on the distribution um, and producing Ubuntu itself. So not having an, any idea what open source software was, I thought it was great that this software was, was free, basically. Um, I used Ubuntu right from the beginning um, and uh, I found it very easy, which surprised me. I thought that open source software sounded very complicated, but uh, it turned out as a user it didn't have to be. Um, so I just like the sense of everybody making this free product, basically. Do I have a favorite Ubuntu release? Do you have a favorite child? Lucid Lynx. Uh, Natty Narwhal, which was 11.04. Hardy Hair and the Intrepid Ibex. Lucid Lynx, Precise Pangolin 1204 LTS. Uh, with Xenial. My favorite Ubuntu release is always the next one. Respecting the open source values, working with the community, the fact that we are still a big community project is most important to me. Uh, really, the, the breadth of impact that we have, you know, uh, Ubuntu is used in so many use cases, not just users who want to install it on their laptop and use it for their desktop. It's the base for many, many products. It's used all over the place. And the things that we do have an impact there. You know, we're able to deliver pieces of an OS that is used all over the world. The world knows our products, the things that we have on our, on our laps, on our laptops. All of that is, in a way, backed, in many cases, by software that we've either developed, or that we helped, or that the community that is around us helped us to ship as well. The biggest thing that I think we've done the best of, we were founded to help drive open source forward, and we've managed to maintain that mix of drive and vision and developing what the future is going to look like, but also recognizing that what the future is going to look like is more people working together. I would just love for another great 20 years. I'd love to see Ubuntu continue to develop and grow and continue to change the world. Here's to 20 more. I hope for the, the work that we're doing to to have legs, to have a life beyond what we're doing now. Um, I want to see um, Ubuntu to continue to have um, an impact on the world and to be a force for good and, and to continue to, to meet the technology needs of the world for the next 20 years. What I would wish is that for thousands of people all over the world who've contributed or been part of, of this great big experiment in collaboration, I hope that whoever they are, wherever they are, they take a moment to celebrate um, what we've all done together and to feel that, you know, whenever they see Ubuntu in the wild, there's a little bit of them in there. <laughs>